one of my absolute favorite things to talk about and to help others with is how to better their financial situation. Now, I know a lot of people who just have a hard time with saving money. As my grandmother would say, every time they get money, it pretty much burns a hole in their pocket, meaning that anytime they have any money, they just have to spend it. It's always something that they're looking to buy or always something that they need. So what I want to do today is I want to share with you guys three awesome saving challenges. And the reason why I enjoy doing saving challenges is it, it makes saving money fun. It gives you a reason to want to save money other than just, you know, we all understand the importance of saving money, but it doesn't mean that we're going to always do it because we know it's what we should do. So I feel that doing different types of saving challenges throughout the year will one, help you start to save money, two, help you increase your savings rate, and three, if there is something that you want to save money for, such as maybe a vacation or to put a down payment on something or to pay off some debt, then saving challenges are a fun way to save money for things that you want to do or just in order to put your money to work. I want to start off by talking about one of my most favorite saving challenges. And the reason why this savings challenge is my favorite is because this is one that we do as a family in my household. And we do this from the start of the year till the end of the year. And how this savings challenge works is all you're doing is keeping your change. Every time you go to the store and you make a purchase, you're going to break a dollar. You're not going to spend your change. And you just collect it and you collect it and you collect it throughout the year. And what we usually do is we'll roll it up as we go. Some people's banks allow you to take the change in and they have a coin counter and it's free for customers. But I bank with Chase and they don't provide a coin counter. However, they do offer, you know, customers to bring in roll change and turn that change in for free. And you can get that money in cash or have it deposited into your, you know, checkings or savings account. So as you can see here, this was last year. Our total count was almost $300. This year, we had a little less change. It was only about $130. But again, it is a easy way and a easy savings challenge if you're looking for a way to start saving some extra income each and every year. And again, it's really fun because it's something that you can do with your family. You guys can all put your extra change in one jar and then you can, you know, at the end of the year, total it up, see how much you have. And maybe if you want to use it for a vacation or you want to split it amongst everybody, whatever you guys decide to do with that money, that's up to you. But save your change is my favorite saving challenge. The challenge that I'm going to share with you guys today is probably the first savings challenge that I ever did. And it was so funny. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers explaining this savings challenge the other day. So I'm going to kick you guys over to a video from Q Makes It Happen. And he's going to explain to you guys a 52-week savings challenge. By the way, if you guys haven't yet, I will leave a link in the description below. And I will also leave a card above so that you guys can check out this entire video. But also make sure that you subscribe to Q's channel because he shares with you guys his journey to debt free also how he's transitioning his financial situation so that he can accomplish financial freedom also 
and become debt free. So I'm going to now kick you guys over to Q's video and let him explain to you guys this 52 week cash savings challenge. One ways to save money and you've seen most of them. You probably even seen this one, but this way in particular is called the 52 week money challenge. And I've used this too out of the four years I've been on my debt free journey and they serve me really, really well. So hopefully they do the same for you. I'll show you using real money, using real cash. And I also have a chart. I also have a chart that breaks everything down even more extensively. Y'all check it out. Week one, week two, week three, week four, so forth and so on. When you add everything you put each week so far, the very first month, if you're doing it correctly, you should have $10. Week one plus week two plus week three plus week four, $10 total. And just follow that. All right. Just follow that. Just follow that pattern. Let's show you the chart now. When it comes to the chart, I have an affinity for shoebox money. First of all, let's get that out the way. But TCF, my bank, they were giving out these printouts. So here's how the 52-week money challenge breaks down. Week one, one dollar. Week two, week three, week four, etc. For whatever week it is, that's how many dollars you allocate. So week one, all the way through week 52, and at the end. You should have $1,378. So every time you make a deposit, you check it off and you keep it moving. Technically, it's week one, so I need everybody to put $1 in. Or you can get fancy with it and start from the end. You can start with $52 and work your way to the beginning. However you want to do it, whatever works best for you. I just know it works. Like I said, I've done this two out of the four years I've been on my journey and it served me. The third savings challenge is one that I created myself. And I created this savings challenge in honor of the new decade to represent the year 2020. Because as we know, everyone's favorite New Year's resolution is to save more and spend less. And I call this the 2020 $2,020 in 20 week savings challenge. Again, that is the 2020 $2,020 in 20 weeks savings challenge. And how this savings challenge works is I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So the only thing that you're going to be doing is saving $101 every week for the next 12 weeks. Again, you're just going to be saving $101 for the next 20 weeks every single week. And if you save $101 every week for the next 20 weeks, you will have saved $2,020. And this is a savings challenge that you can pretty much repeat as much as you want. And if you guys want, you can even double the amount of money that you're saving and you can save a little bit more. And that applies to any savings challenge that you guys do in the future. Now, this is something that I saw on Debt Free D's page. And that is this little honeycomb printout. And this is something that you guys can utilize in order to track your savings. Um, such as the one that Q had on his page. I'm pretty sure you can print that one out anywhere online. And I will leave a printable link in the description below for this little honeycomb printout. But for anyone who wants to do the 2020 $2,020 in 20 weeks savings challenge. Again, you're just going to be saving $101 every single week for 20 weeks. And in order to keep track and to keep this in a spot where you can look at it all the time to remind you of your savings challenge, you can either write the weeks in or you can write the dollar amounts and you can color in a little honeycomb every single time you make a deposit. Now, what I would suggest that you guys do is as you're doing your savings challenges, 
Some people like to keep the cash on hand because it helps to motivate them while they're doing the savings challenge. If that is something that works best for you, then I would recommend maybe every single month you deposit that cash into a high interest savings account. Therefore, you're able to accrue some interest on your money and you can let that money grow and compound a little bit for you. Or for those of you who are already investing, maybe you can go ahead and turn around and invest that money into the stock market after you complete a savings challenge or maybe every quarter of the savings challenge. So again, savings challenge number one is the keep your change savings challenge. Savings challenge number two is the 52-week savings challenge. And then savings challenge number three is the 2020 $2,020 in 20-weeks savings challenge. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Marie Brown. This is my channel, Minds in Motion, where we talk about personal finances, investing, and how to become the best version of yourself. If you haven't yet, be sure to...